This Friday is a super powerful full moon. The full moon is a time for transformation, letting go of fears, and moving forward into your full potential. Are you ready to release your fears so that you can embody the life that you are always meant to have? Stay tuned. Hello, lovely magic makers. So I hope that you're having a beautiful week. I hope your summer has been amazing. And I am here to help you today with cleansing your fears from your system. We have a full moon coming up on July 31st, if you're watching this in real time. And it is a transformational blue moon. It's a time to really let go of the past, let go of the things that are no longer serving you, and move forward. So in order to do that, we have to release our fears. We have to let go of the things that are no longer serving us. So I'm here with two techniques to help you to release your fears so that you can move forward with confidence. So on a recent Manifestation Friday night, I had one participant who was having a particularly hard time with her manifestation due to some severe anxiety around the situation that she was trying to move through in order to think positively. My prescription for her was to do what I like to call a fear cleanse. And that is to sit with your fear and fully feel it. Allow yourself to feel everything that's coming up for you around a situation for 90 seconds. Now, she had a little bit of resistance to this because we had just gotten done talking in class about how you want to keep your thoughts mostly positive when you're trying to manifest because your thoughts create your reality. Your thoughts attract things. So if you're thinking negative things, you might call some negative stuff into your life. However, I told her that this fear cleanse was kind of like a juice cleanse. So if you've ever been in on a juice cleanse for three days, seven days, 10 days, maybe even a little bit longer, you know that it's not really a sustainable lifestyle to live full time. You can do a pretty long juice cleanse, but it's still not something that you're ever planning on doing for the rest of your life. Eventually you return to solid food. And what this juice cleanse is doing is it's allowing you to release some toxins. It's a momentary temporary cleanse so that you can release the things within your system that are not doing well for you. So that's exactly what this fear cleanse is as well. So if you were going to have a fear that is so palpable that you can't seem to shake it, trying to ignore that fear is only going to make it come up more often. It's going to become that pink elephant in the room that no one can ignore. So in order to release this fear, you have to fully face it. And here's what you do to fully face your fear. Sit quietly with your eyes closed and allow yourself to start to focus on your breathing and picture yourself in the scenario that is bringing up these fears. Maybe it's confronting a certain person that brings up fear within you. Maybe it's confronting a certain situation. Whatever it is, imagine that you're in that scenario and start to allow yourself to feel what's coming up for you. Don't shove it aside. Don't try to sugarcoat it. Worst case scenario, if the situation went totally south, how would you feel in that moment? Now, two things will happen whenever you do this visualization. One, you might realize that the worst case scenario really isn't that bad. When you start to really focus on how it makes you feel, when you picture the scenario, you might realize that you can actually kind of handle even the worst case scenario. But even if that doesn't happen, you'll allow yourself to start to fully feel the fear. Set a timer for about 90 seconds when you begin this exercise and allow yourself to feel the fear bubble up. Pinpoint where it lives in your body, whether it be in your chest, in your back, in your shoulders, you'll feel something tense up in response to this fear. And allow yourself to send breath to that area and breathe through it as you experience it and then let it subside. Now, you'll probably find at the end of this visualization that you feel calmer. 
that when you picture the situation again, that fear isn't quite as present. It might still be there a little bit, but it's not going to be there quite as much as it was before. That's your fear cleanse. You're removing the toxins of that fearful feeling so that you can then move forward in your daily life with your regular routine and have a cleaner palate, a clearer mind, more ability to think with positive thoughts because you've cleansed out that fearful feeling. Now, if you find that the fear cleanse isn't working as well as you hoped, I have another technique that I'd like to teach you in this video, and it's called emotional freedom technique or tapping. So what is tapping? Tapping's like the love child of acupressure and affirmations. So rather than simply using positive affirmations to move through a thought process or going to an acupuncturist to try and remove any energetic blockages that way, you're going to combine those two thought patterns by tapping on different meridian points in your body while reciting affirmations. So in tapping, you usually do at least three rounds. A round of tapping is tapping on the different energy centers all the way down, going through the entire sequence one time. So in your first round, you will do purely the fearful negative thoughts. You will state everything that's coming up for you within that moment while tapping. The second round, you're going to incorporate some sort of positive affirmation to go with your negative emotions. And then the third round, you're going to focus solely on the positive affirmations. So if you're a little confused, that's okay. I'm going to give you a little example right now. So let's say that I'm feeling fearful about teaching an upcoming yoga class. Maybe for some reason I'm feeling off my game and I'm not feeling like people are going to like what I'm teaching or uh, that I am going to be inspiring to other people. So I would start with the negative emotions. And you're going to start by tapping on the crown of your head. So you're going to take two fingers, both hands, and just tap on the crown of your head. And you're going to start with the negative emotion. So I would start with something like, I'm afraid. And move on to the space above your eyebrows. I'm feeling inadequate. And move on to your temples. What if they don't like me? And move on to the space beneath your eyebrows, just above your cheekbones. What if I'm not inspirational? In the space below your knee, nose and above your lip. I'm afraid that I've lost the magic. And in the space in the dimple of your chin right here. I'm afraid that I'm off my game today. And then the mm, hollows beneath your collarbone or just beneath your collarbone. I'm scared in the space to the sides of your ribs, right about where the bra strap would be if you're female. If you're not female, just imagine yourself wearing a bra. I don't know what to do. Then you can either tap on the karate chap point, which is what it's called in tapping, uh, right here at the blade of your hand, or you can tap your wrists together. There's two different ways to end the round. Uh, so that's a full round. And you're just going through whatever negative emotions are coming up for you. This is kind of a fabricated situation, so it's probably going to be much more powerful. It's even okay to be crying through that first round. If the emotions are super intense, you might be feeling things come up during the tapping. Just keep tapping. Keep going. The second round, you're going to say the same things or similar things that you did in the first round, but you're going to follow it up with a positive affirmation. So that would sound something like, even though I'm afraid, I know that I'm capable. Even though I feel inadequate, I know that I can do this. Even though I feel as if I've lost the magic, I know that the magic lives within me even though I'm scared. 
I know that I can get through this. I know that everything is going to be okay. Now, after you complete your second round, or maybe you go a couple rounds with either one of these, it's all up to how you're feeling. If you feel like you need to go more than one round for either one, feel free. The third round is all positive affirmations. All of those positive things that you would say to a friend in a similar situation if you were trying to make them feel better. Allow yourself to become your best friend in this moment and tap while saying the things that you know would comfort your friend. So that would go something like this. I know that I am capable. I know that I am strong. I know that my passion will guide me through this. I know that my love for yoga will be felt. I know that as long as I stay present, my students will feel that. I know that this is what I'm meant to be doing. I know that everything is going to work out exactly as the universe has planned. I know that I am strong, capable, and everything is going to be okay. So I hope that this video has served you well. I encourage you to use these practices in the coming week leading up to the full moon to release any fears or in any scenario in your life. Anytime you start to feel those fears or that inadequacy or even just a little touch of sadness, a little funk, go through a couple rounds of tapping and feel yourself shift. Allow yourself to cleanse out your fears this week. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. I am here to support you. And if you'd like further support in your modern day magic, I have recently started a Facebook group called Modern Day Magic Makers, where I like to play and post all of the hippie, new agey, astrology tapping, uh, affirmations, tarot, uh, tea, anything that I find fun and magical and ritualistic. I, I post links and, and advice in this group and offer up time for you to ask questions as well. So if you'd like to sign up for that, look up Modern Day Magic Makers. So facebook.com backslash groups backslash Modern Day Magic Makers and request membership to the group. I'll approve you within 24 hours. And let's all embrace the Modern Day Magic Makers within us all, whatever that means to you. Like the video? Subscribe for future updates.